What are you working on now? I am making egg bread. Steve the bread guy's egg bread. Amazing stuff. All right. And what's different from this overall from the last bread we made? Uh, this one is a more sweet bread. Yeah. What else? Uh, what else is different? Uh, I'm using active yeast instead of instant yeast. And eggs? Oh, yeah. And I'm using no two eggs and two egg yolks because it's... A yellow bread in many ways. Now I need to melt some butter because it's got to have butter in it. But I'm still waiting for the yeast. Oh, almost ready. And this is your first time using traditional yeast? This is yeast? the first time, yeah. Yeah, what do you think I, of it? I, what I did was, you. I figured out how you get the water hot enough. Mm -hmm. Steve, the bread guy, said, put your hand under the water and when it just starts to hurt, that's the water of the temperature you want, so that's what I did. Nice. And you use I half guess. a cup. You use half a cup of that, half a teaspoon of sugar, and you leave it alone. And while so, I think I mentioned before, uh, two eggs and two yellows, because it's a very rich bread. It's very by yellowy. yellow. She means yolks. Yes, and I'm also going to add half a no a quarter cup of melted butter. But I'm waiting right now for this. You add that to the actual dough. I add that to the actual eggs. Okay. And I also add, uh, let me look at my recipe. Where's my recipe? There, it's hiding. Uh, I need honey. How much? Why can't I not see where the honey is? We'll be back after. Two tablespoons, oh, no. two tablespoons, two it. tablespoons. Okay. Okay. And Bye. how much flour? Oh, four cups, if you need all four. You might not. Why not? Because it's bread is funny that way. Sometimes you use what they say, sometimes you don't, sometimes you use more. But basically, he says between three and four cups. So I, okay, so I added about three cups of flour and used the wooden spoon to stir it up. But after three cups, it's better to just dig in there. And you're cr trying to create a ball. Get all the flour. Then I'm going to clean out the bowl, I'm going to oil the bowl, turn the ball of dough over once so it gets oil on all sides, and then I'm going to lie, let it rise for about an hour or so. Do you do anything else, like cover it with oh, a wet, a wet tea towel on top of the bowl. And, and why is that? You want to keep it warm. Warm and dark. Warm and dark. And from drying out. And that's what the oil does too, right? Keeps the bread from I don't drying what, out and sticking? I guess. Yeah. All right. All right. Any other uh, final words for the uh, now? Bye. <laughs> well, here we are. It has risen for an hour and five minutes. I now divided the dough into three sections. Now, wait. Why? How did you know it was ready in that amount of time? Because it had doubled inside. Okay. And I punched it down. That part's really fun. Mm -hmm. I like doing that. Now I'm making it's three violent. strings of dough, putting the longest one in the middle because I have to braid it because as you know egg bread is usually braided. Think Easter. That's usually when you see a lot of egg breads. So what I'm doing right now is I'm making the, the, the three strings of dough that I need and the dough feels really good. I was worried about it because it looked a little dry but it's not. It's excellent. So the trick that Steve gave me was when you you have to um, make you use three breads and the trick is outside over the middle one so that's what I have to try okay so now I'm ready to braid I put the tallest one that I stretched in the middle and now I have to braid it so you have to go over the middle one over the middle one over the middle one and you can see the bread forming Whoa, which, what do I do next? Wait, what did I do wrong? Over oh. the middle. Oh, oh, no, but now it's not over the middle. Over the middle one. There. I'm an idiot. Okay, but we all know that. Okay. Over the middle. We're experiencing some technical difficulties. <laughs> no, we'll know. be back in a moment. <laughs> the middle. So, so I have perceptual problems. I've asked my daughter to finish over the, the job. Over the middle. Over the middle. Over the middle, over the middle, braiding. Thank you very, very much. Okay, so uh, Samantha finished braiding it. I have oiled a large cookie sheet. It has to be large because, because it rises. 
it rises quite a bit and uh, then we should be putting it in the oven in a little bit over an hour but first I'm going to take so it's gonna rise again for yes, an hour it's going to rise again I'm going to take the whites of the eggs that I got rid of when I was using my four eggs and I only needed two egg yolks and two eggs and that will just put a little bit of a and now why it. does this need a second rise where the previous bread didn't because we didn't use instant yeast yeah and I don't have sesame seeds which is really too bad I will order some and do it next time so here we go I cover it up again with a damp towel and see you in an hour baby and here it is an hour of rising it, it's doubled in size basically so now it goes into the oven this is sort of interesting only for 12 to 17 minutes not very long so let's set the timer oh what am I doing I'm, I'm raising the oven temperature. <laughs> I'm going to try 10 minutes and then check it and uh, see if it's uh, done because that's what Steve said. Okay, so here we go. Let's check it out. Looking good, looking good. There we go. Looks like it's going to taste good. I'll let you know. So here I am tasting this bread. I already had a piece earlier just to check. It is absolutely delicious. I'm going to try and make a bread pudding with it because this is the perfect bread for a bread pudding. Uh, what did I learn from this? I learned to make sure that you remember that your oven needs to be raised 25 degrees or it's not cooking properly. Never mind, that's another story. Bye.